my name is Helen and welcome to my channel Hana Kalani Creations. Uh, today we're going to do a I want to try a pearl pour and I think I made my white thin enough and what I wanted to do because I'm doing my happy birthday October babies pour uh oh anyway I guess somebody complaining because I locked her out of my room anyway um I want to make it look like a, uh, their birthstone, which is opal. So I kind of want to hope that the pearls come over, the the white comes over it, and that the colors of the, the red, the purple, or the orange, the yellow, the green, the blues, all pop through to make it look like you're looking at an opal ring. Now the other thing I learned from my mother, I don't know if it's just a wives old tale, uh, folk tale or something. Um, I wanted to get an opal because I thought they were pretty and she told me that you're not supposed to buy an opal for yourself they're supposed to be given as gifts so hence I never got an opal anyway it's not my birthstone anyway so my daughter's birthday is this month um, a lot of her cousins are on the same day so she's sharing it with like five or six cousins and um, in fact my cousin one of my cousin's birthdays today and uh, I know there's a lot of you out there. Happy birthday, happy birthday, October babies. My brothers is this month. Um, just tons of people I know. My best, one of my yayas is Monday. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, October babies. Happy birthday to you. And I'll get you down to the canvas and we'll see what's going to happen. Okay? So. I want to show you some things from my last pour, which was my September pour. I don't think it's that bad now. I kind of like it. This is the final. Well, am I that close? Yeah. So anyway, this is my final. It's got the shimmers in there. This got kind of cloudy, but I can see what I did. So this is the learning one for me. So it's going up on the wall. And because I did some cabochons, if you remember, um, oh, red monkeys. These are what they came out like. Sorry for the ring, guys. Those came out kind of pretty, I think. And there's a bunch of shimmer in it. So, okay. Now, I might do one just all about these lovely things. I might have to do a, we'll see if it thickens up a little bit. This is not broccoli cheddar soup. So, kind of made it thin yesterday. This one's sitting here. I think it's the best way to show you. See, it doesn't even make a mound. It just goes right into it. So that's what I want to use for my purple. Okay. Now what I'm worried about are the colors. So, I did get a lot of paper, color, whatever it is. And these are the colors I want to put in. I know I want orange, because I always see orange in there. So, let me get the cut off. Okay. I don't know. Yellow goes with the orange. Um, with those some... Is it blue? I'm not sure. Uh, that has some green. Have some purple because there's a little bit of purple in it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try something. I was gonna make the uh, I was gonna make it just white in the background, but I think what I want to do is mix it with a little like blue. Oh, I saw blue go in. Dang it. So I'm gonna throw some of this in there. I to, sometimes when you look at opals, they actually look kind of bluish tinge on it. Okay. There's no mound.
think I got this under control. Okay, folks. I got purple everywhere. Okay. Well, not too shabby. Now the ones I just mixed are a little slower. But they're all running pretty good, except for this uh, rose gold. So, that's what I did. All I did was add a gel, gel medium in, and that one was running like water. These all were, kind of. And I got it to thicken up. I'm not going to put gel in this one because they're so close that if I did, I might make it too thick and then I'd have to put water in these and uh, you know, too thin. I don't know. It'll be fighting wars. Some kind of urinating contest. Anyway, so I got my 8x10 because I'm making all my birthday ones are 8x10. And this is one of the one of the $2 or the dollar campuses from Walmart. Okay, so from what I understand, all you do is just like pour this on somehow. I have no silicone in these. I don't know if I'm supposed to put, I'm supposed to put a water down, uh, the base down first. Oh, hell, I already blew it. I think I was. Okay, let's see if we can't start this again. Um, where's my palette? Okay. Let me try this again, guys. I've watched quite a few people do this too, so. I'm gonna blame it on I just got off of work. <laughs> okay. Make sure this is still the consistency I want. Yeah, it's water. Okay. What is it called? The one the white port does. That is supposed to do like the, what I just did. You pour it on top, um, and then you wait, and you have a time lapse. So I'm gonna have to have a time lapse. Looks like so I'm cleaning a lot of my mess up, and I'll do something with this. I'm probably gonna have scraps. I'm gonna have to put it in a cup, scrap it. I'll be back. Okay, this is how it turned out. I don't understand why. I pretty much got all of the. Um, yeah, I got everything off. Huh. So, I'm going to play with this. Because there's a lot of colors under it. So, got a balloon. 
I don't know if I should still wait. It's been like 15 minutes. I don't know how long it's supposed to wait. I don't, I don't think it's too thick on there. Almost everything flew off. I hit it with a blowtorch. Well, for my first time, <laughs> I've learned a few things. I don't know yet what. Well, number one, I don't know what I'm doing. Put my colors in order. So the base goes on first, then I put the base on first. Have it first. So I don't get in that trouble again. So, dang it. Second thing is, regardless if I have it covered or not, strain everything. Because some of it was kind of goopy. What else? If anybody wants to give me some suggestions in the comments? In my white, I used Liquitex Pouring Medium, uh, Artist Loft Soft Flow, and Flow Trial Water as needed. That was it. Um, I don't know if I, I don't want to really use household paint if I don't need to, but if I can't get away with not, without using it, then I'm definitely going to have to bow down and learn how to use it. So I see some cells, a couple cells here, here, some lacing rather, and um, I like the edges look very nice. I'll take you down and look at it in a minute. Well, actually, I'll pick it up and bring it to you because I still want to wait 20 minutes. Now, if the whole painting looked like that, I'd be like stoked. It looks like awesome. But it doesn't, so. I don't know if I should tilt this again or. That corner came out kind of pretty. Hmm. So we'll sit it down a shelf. And I'll put some of this paint back into that. I got a lot of uh, runoff paint, so. I got a floor extender going. Well, I couldn't get it open, that's why I didn't put it in. Dang it. Okay. Put some of this back. Have you done a floor, uh, pour? Let me know all about it. Or send me your uh, link. Put it in the comment. Send me the link to the one you've done. And... And I'd love it even better if it had mixing instructions for your pour. It is now 56 degrees here. Um, so I, I'm sure that makes a difference. And maybe it's because you can't do it on a small canvas. I know certain things I run into problems because I'm doing, using a smaller canvas. So, that could be my deal all the way around. So now that I have a bigger space, I might just have to go up to a bigger campus, which I have tons. I have tons of 16 by 20s, which some people call that small. I call it big. But, uh, okay, put that away. So, I am going to balloon smash it because, why not? I think it'll look cool. So like Julie Cube says, the knot goes between your fingers, get a good grip, Oop, get the hair off. There you go. I'll start in the corner that doesn't Oh, it's still kind of wet.
It kind of looks kind of cool. Let me see. So what do you think, guys? Happy birthday, all my little October babies. I'm happy with this. I'm glad I didn't give up. Yeah, I am glad I didn't give up. Hee hee. So, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna do this one time. There we go. I'm calling it done. Done. I'll bring you down to it. Hang on. Wow. Oh, I'm in love with this one. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, look at it in the in room light. Wow. Even with that cloudy white. So Here's what the edges look like. I don't think I could ever get that done again if I even tried. Nope, oh, I touched that up. Anywho. That's kind of cool. All that sparkly is either the, I think it's the rose gold, or the peacock if it's blue. That was a drip, but it looked kind of cute. Oh, the consumer canvas, dang it. Maybe I could fix that. That's the big balloon. It's beautiful. I want to thank you for hanging out with me and, and taking this ride. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Aho ho. Malama Pono. Take care. And I'll see you on my next one. Yay.